Hey there, I hope you're doing well. Hello from Lola and I. We are just here. It looks like I'm strangling her, but I promise I'm not. We are here just chilling and we thought we would share with you what I got from the charity shop. Honestly, she's like, mum, put me down. Oh my God, isn't she just beautiful? But we thought we would share with you what it was that I got from the charity shop um, the other day and um, yeah, see what it is that um, potentially is for resale. Some of it's for myself. Um, I have got a big old bag. Of course, I never not come back with a full bag and a couple of other items. So I feel like this camera is a bit low. Hang on, am I like really? I feel like my boobs were proper in shot then. I'm not gonna lie. So yes, I am casual. I put my hair up, which is rare. I have no makeup on. I'm letting my skin breathe. Um, got to do it every now and then, and it always just happens to be on filming day. But I don't care. Real life, etc. So I don't know why I said etc. Moving on to the haul. There's gonna be no order to what it is I'm pulling out the bag. It's just gonna be as and when <laughs> and what it is. So I got this Sara brand new with tags. So apparently originally was 65 pound i got it from uh, not cancer research refashion um so they were selling it for 23 pound but they actually got it for two pounds so it's a size 24 kind of burnt orange blazer and uh, yeah two pound i really find like the um kind of plus sizes to sell really well for me um i would like to think i'd put this up for 25 pounds see what happens and that would probably pay for a lot of what i actually brought today but yeah two pound is great color isn't it great for this time of year it's actually really good for summer as well and blazers are quite popular at the moment aren't they but yeah got this ruched kind of sleeve two pound into 20 pound minimum i'd like to say so already off to a great start then I took a bit of a risk on this one. So it's a brand called Forever Unique. I know they do sell quite expensive. Um, it is a size 10, um, brand new with tags. It doesn't say how much it originally was, unfortunately, because I would love to have known. I probably could find it online. I paid 6 99 and it's just this really adorable, literally a party dress with this wrap front here. Um, good, obviously this would have been great for like New Year's Eve, but great for birthdays and parties, etc. Um, So I think again, about 20 pound potentially. I know there are a lot more brand new, but let's just say 20 pounds. So hopefully make about kind of 13 pound profit to just hopefully a nice easy win there but um if this fit me i'd probably try it on and keep it but definitely not going to get over my butt so really cute look how much it sparkles proper sequiny very cute so i did buy this potentially for myself it's from blue vanilla it's a size medium large and it's this half leopard half brown kind of um what designs this like knit style jumper um really pretty design just very kind of basic but a bit of a difference paid 4.99 if i was to sell it i'd like to think about 10 pound minimum so even if i do sell it for 10 pound that's a five pound profit but that's why i like experimenting like you can buy these things see if you like them or not and then sell them on but yeah really cute isn't it very much a nice little different basic it is basic isn't it really it's not like in your face or anything so yeah this one I got for myself, again, obviously hoping that it fits. It is a size 10, however, it's got like an elastic waist, um, very flowy. It's this in the style, I think it was, dress. I paid £6, um, but yeah, I just thought, again, I need more dresses. I don't have enough at the moment. I have three that I have on repeat. Um, I basically, because I've lost a bit of weight, like they just, I don't feel comfortable in them. They're a bit too baggy. And then when I bend over, like a little bit of boobage. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought I'd try this size 10, see what happens. Um, but yeah, really cute, just some more black tights, has like these chunky buttons doing them up. If you were to sell this, I'd probably expect about £10, so only 6 to £10 really. So I wouldn't imagine I'd make any money if I was to sell it. However, for my own personal wardrobe, I think £6 is a very good deal. This was from the £2 rail again um, at Refashion. So this was originally £15.99. They were trying to sell it for £3, but I got it for £2. Just a basic white top really with some lace sleeves there was a black one actually um the last time i went in there and i wish that was there as well um i should have probably just got them both for three pound each but yeah me being me being tight i just didn't think they were worth three pound each i know it's really bad isn't it um but yeah i bought two pounds it's gonna be gone so yeah really cute very much basic very cute for like date nights and kind of just nights out with the girls meals etc so yeah really really pretty two pound new look can't complain. I also got a, a pair of size 10 jeans. So I only have size 12 at the moment. And again, they're getting a bit baggy on me now. And I just hate it when they kind of have those little rolls on your legs. So this is only a Tesco one. And I got Tesco because I love Tesco and their fit generally is quite good on me. So I've got this pair of blue jeans, size 10, 
five pound i'll give them a go i didn't actually look at the back pockets oh yeah they're fine i hate when you buy jeans and you don't realize the pockets are tiny and then it makes your butt look massive <laughs> i mean i don't need any help with that but yeah five five pound great condition i think they've probably only been worn once or twice there's a little bit of scuffing at the bottom but because i'm so short i have to roll them so that will never be noticed but yeah good to try different sizes as well and you can always return things don't forget your charity shops and um, if you were to sell them i'd recommend probably about five pound you'd be lucky to make a profit on anything like that i think then moving on to um what is this scotch and soda sweater this was five pound i really like this for myself but i have to stop because i brought that gray paris one in the other haul um but um i did look online i think this might sell for about 20 pound so hopefully about a 15 pound profit here but isn't it cute i do like scotch and soda i've seen a few of their things actually i passed a shop in london i didn't go in it because i thought i just can't be spending money on clothes like I, I just don't need it but in charity shops i can justify five pound <laughs> so yeah just a basic scotch and soda jumper really really cute not much to say and a little bit of money maker oh they've got a little scotch thing there as well my first ever scotch and soda purchase so we will see i thought this was quite nice um just as kind of a basic cardigan so it's a cropped one my sister used to have something like this and because it had wool in it i couldn't buy it for myself it was from primark but this is from conclusion which i think is an asos brand a size 10 um this is not got any wool in it and it actually smells amazing my goodness don't you wish sometimes they just put inserted what washing detergent they used or which perfume it is <laughs> i will wash it but it does smell really good but just this basic cropped cardigan really great imagine it imagine it like oh my god hang on a minute have i got a really cute outfit here so blue jeans this white top and this cute little cardigan oh <gasps> that's an outfit there for how much was there so 4.99 so four pounds six pound eleven pound cute little outfit <sighs> you are welcome isn't that cute i hope it all fits because that would actually look quite nice <laughs> but yeah I, I wouldn't potentially think you'd make much money from selling it but again buying for your own wardrobe four pound to try something that you want to just experiment with you can't complain can you it's a good little deal really random really random purchase from a charity shop but they had these sustainable biodegradable bamboo um cotton buds um one pound 80 for a pack of 200 so 400 for three pound 60 that was quick mass wasn't it oh gosh yeah that was impressive but i thought just stuff up in a couple i mean i don't really use earbuds massively however they're good to have around so yeah there's that I'm after coffee table books and if you don't know this I actually love Barack Obama I just think he's absolutely awesome um this was two pound this is his uh book I think he's only got one out anyway but I'm gonna take the cover off and just like another art book I brought previously I'm gonna have it just like this I like a basic book um I know I'm gonna have to remove his beautiful face but uh, <laughs> yeah I'm just after like this cover and I want it to be books that I like I don't want just anything random so the other one I got was the one eight art book I think I showed that in a video I can't remember and I took the cover off and um it's very similar color to this so it might look quite nice kind of stacked with a candle on top but um yeah I love Barack Obama I love Michelle Obama I love the Obamas I just think they're awesome don't ask me why I just think they're really cool so I will have this as a coffee table book or something similar for um decor purposes i will look at the pictures every now and then i had listened to half of the, the book however it's quite heavy and i'm not massively into politics um or anything like that so i did listen to it i did purchase it on um what's it called audible but yeah it was actually nice just listening to his voice clearly i'm in love with obama <laughs> Finally, I got this mango. It's a size medium men's gilet. This is really cute and generally tempted to try it on for myself, but I think it will be too manly. <laughs> um, but it's this Sherpa style collar. Um, paid £8. I looked on at eBay and I think we're looking at the region to £20 to £30 here. So I'm going to say £20 worst case. Um, so hopefully about a £12 profit, easy money. But isn't it just adorable? So it's just a pad. It's really thick actually. It's not cheap quality at all. Love Lovely plaid inside and um, just kind of plaid all the outside as well and um, quilted sorry not plaid but yeah really cute how much the pockets that's the worst thing about buying second hand sometimes is you don't want to know what's in those pockets but we've all had a tissue in there now and then but we're safe nothing to worry about in said pockets so yeah nice little hopefully bit of a money maker there so that was my haul i was quite happy with what i found um i'm trying not to buy too much because i'm trying actually to sell someone else's stuff and 
I'm having to empty out the house. Uh, update will be coming shortly on that. Um, whenever that'll be, I don't know. But when, when I'm ready to talk about things. But um, but yeah, so I need to stop buying from secondhand shops as much as possible. That's why there isn't as much. I was quite restrained to a degree. <laughs> um but yeah just wanted to um share what i got really and go from there but i will be hopefully posting a bit more regularly now moving forward i just needed a couple of weeks to just get my life sorted and go from there but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and um yeah please follow like and subscribe and my instagram's also gem the vegan